and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Side Drinker. Now, as you can see, I've changed locales here because I'm in my local Playhouse pub because it's their cider festival at the moment. So I thought, well, it's also Curry Club at the moment as well. So I thought, well, I might as well have a go at some of their ciders. Now, I'm not actually going to um, have a few tonight because uh, I've got work the next day, but I had to try at least one. And today's cider we have got is this one here, which is the Fiery Fox Cider from, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to not be able to pronounce this, the Wint E. Drake Cider Company, which is a Welsh company, and it's very well known for their ciders. It's won multiple awards, and I'm hoping that this one is going to be especially good. Um, as I say, it's part of their cider festival, so I've not tried this before. It's, and as I say, it's their Fiery Fox Cider, which comes in at 6.5% volume. So, um, quite strong for a real cider, but still not enough to blow your head off. Now then, the tasting notes say that this golden medium cider has a refreshing apple aroma and a smooth, balanced flavour with a fresh, crisp sharpness. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the cider. So, as we see here, it's got a nice, lovely golden colour to it, but um, it's still no carbonation at all, so a nice still cider, which is always good. So, I'm just going to go and get away from the glass. Hmm, not really getting a whole lot, just going to... You've got um, quite robust oak characteristics coming off of this. It, it smells a lot drier than, um, you know, it says a medium cider. So, yeah, it, d it definitely smells more like a really extra dry or a dry cider, so that's quite interesting. But this looks absolutely divine, so I'm going to go and dive right in. So, cheers, guys. I've always wanted to try these guys out, the Gwent e Drake. I'm sure you guys out there are going to help me pronounce it, because I don't have a clue. So, cheers, guys, and here's the Fiery Fox. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's almost got um, sort of a citrusy tone to it all, um, all throughout the cider. Very subdued flavours as well. It's very light, very refreshing. Um, quite sharp on the initial taste, like it said in the um, tasting notes as well. So yeah, quite a nice sharp initial taste to it. Gonna go and get a second opinion. Yeah, that is a really nice cider. As I say, you have got that sharp initial taste, but it's also very smooth, especially um, in the aftertaste as well. You've almost got a kind of a woody um, characteristic to the end of the aftertaste, but it's not oaky. I don't think this one's been um, aged in oak barrels, so you never know. That's probably just the type of apples that they've used for it. So, um, yeah, I'm, ple I'm pleasantly surprised with this one, and I'm very much looking forward to trying the other Gwinty Drag, or however you pronounce it, ciders as well. Um, I'm going to cut this one short because obviously I am at a cider festival and I'm not sure if we're allowed filming in this one, so I'm going to get a final taste before the final verdict. Really nice, easily drinkable cider, very refreshing, full of um, fresh, juicy apples as well. But again, you've got that nice sharpness at the start and it smooths out towards the end. So, in other words, a very, very nice medium cider. So, for a verdict, I'm going to go and give Gwinty Dregs Fiery Fox a 7 out of 10. If you are ever at a cider festival and you see this cider, I suggest you go and give it, give it a try because you won't be disappointed. So, that was another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. I know it was uh, quite a short one today, but I hope you liked it in either way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm waiting for my curry to arrive. So, until next time, take care.